right, folks, it is swizzle season. Now, a swizzle is a type of cocktail made with crushed ice served in a Collins glass and swizzled using a swizzle stick like this. The swizzle technique is basically rubbing this swizzle stick between your palms to mix up the cocktail with the crushed ice and develop a nice frost. These are excellent summer sippers with no shaking required, so let's learn three tasty recipes. But first, we're gonna be making a lot of crushed ice here. I like to use a Lewis bag and this hammer. We're gonna be using about six or seven ice cubes worth for each drink. Just throw the ice in the bag and beat it up, or you could also use a cloth towel. First up is a basic rum swizzle, and we're gonna build this in a Collins glass, starting with one half ounce or 15 mils of simple syrup. Here I'm using Demerara syrup. Then three fourths of an ounce, or about 22 mils of fresh lime juice. Next up, some curacao. I'm using this dry curacao from Pierre Ferrand, but you could also use a triple sec. Three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils. Next up, choose a rum. I prefer a dark rum for this drink and you can go as funky as you want, but I like this plantation dark rum, two ounces or 60 mils. Then add in some of your crushed ice. You're targeting about two thirds of the glass full. Hit that with a couple dashes of Angostura. And now we swizzle. Drop that swizzle stick into the cocktail and rub it in between your palms to spin it around. Raise it up and down to make sure everything is mixed together until you get a nice frost on the outside of the glass. Now you could just use a bar spoon here, but the sticks are a lot more fun, trust me. Then top with the rest of your crushed ice. Not gonna use a garnish for this one, just gonna tuck in a sippy cylinder and let's give it a taste, our basic rum swizzle. Now that is just super refreshing. Nicely balanced, ice cold, a little bit extra boozy to account for some of the dilution we're gonna get in there. But um, yeah, you could sip on three or four of these all day. That dry curacao is also a nice touch, makes it feel a bit more tropical. I love this. Next up, we're gonna make the classic Queen's Park Swizzle. Again, starting with simple syrup, three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils. Balance that out with one ounce or 30 mils of fresh lime juice. And we're going hard on the mint with this drink. So drop in about eight to 10 fresh mint leaves into the glass and gently muddle them to extract some of those mint oils. Don't pulverize this or you'll release some of the bitter chlorophyll. Next, we need some overproof rum. I'm going with this Navy Strength Smith & Cross Jamaican Pot Still, two ounces or 60 mils. Definitely gonna need to sit down for this one. Pour in your crushed ice to about two thirds full on the glass. And now we swizzle. These drinks started to become popular in the 1860s in the Caribbean when ice became more readily available there. Now for some more Angostura bitters, and we're trying to create a nice color contrast on top. So you can do like four, six, seven, eight, nine dashes up to your preference. Top it off with more crushed ice. And then we're gonna garnish this with a mint bouquet. So slap it with your palms to release some of the fragrant oils and just tuck it in there. Let's give it a taste, our Queens Park Swizzle. I mean, this is amazing. On the surface, it looks very similar to the last drink, but that addition of the funkier pot still rum and that mint really take it to the next level. This is dangerously tasty. All right, we're gonna move on from rum and finish with one that I'm very excited about, the chartreuse swizzle. Start with three fourths of an ounce or 22 mils of fresh lime juice. Make some fresh pineapple juice and we're gonna add one ounce or 30 mils. Next, we're gonna reach for this spiced Caribbean syrup called Velvet Falernum, one half ounce or 15 mils. And then of course the flagship ingredient, the herbal and delicious green chartreuse, one and a half ounces or 45 mils. By now you know the drill, two thirds of the glass full with crushed ice and swizzle. This drink was created by Marco Dionisos at a 2003 chartreuse cocktail competition and has become a bit of a modern classic. I'm gonna top that with more ice, garnish with some freshly slapped mint, a little bit of nutmeg. And if you wanna risk poking your eye out with a pineapple frong, throw it in there along with a sippy cylinder give it a taste, the beautiful chartreuse swizzle. This drink is wild. First of all, it is absolutely delicious. There's so many flavors going on between the spiced velvet falernum, the herbal green chartreuse, the nutmeg, the ice cold drink, and the fresh mint really double down on the freshness. This is a winner. Thanks for watching y'all. If you wanna see more tasty summer drinks, make sure you're subscribed. I got some fun stuff coming next, and I'll put a few links to some great ones on screen here. Cheers.